Good morning from my car. I am doing something today that I have not done in a really, really long time. I'm having a mom break for like most of the day, you guys. It's been legit so long already. I have like different times where I have a couple hour breaks, but I have not like had a long span of time where I can just go do whatever I want. So I'm like so excited. Um, and you all know I love thrifting. So today I'm gonna go check out at least two Goodwills that my friend told me about. And she is watching the boys for me. So thank you so much, Hannah. You're awesome. Um, so I think I might take you guys with me a little bit in the stores. Maybe I'll try to film here and there if I can. And then I also have some things that I've accumulated uh, in the past. And then whatever I find today, I will go ahead and show you guys at the end. So stick around for that. I'm excited. I'm also going to be doing some editing today, I think, just to kind of catch up on some work and stuff. But I, I feel like it's going to be a really good refresher for me. Sometimes it's just, it's necessary. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get inside. So let's get going. So they actually have a lot of kids clothes here. I'm gonna see if I can find something. Mine are always like selected at the stores I usually go to. So I'm gonna see if I can find some stuff. I've been really wanting to find a kimono. I did find one, but I haven't tried it on yet. And I think it might look a little girly, but I just found the top here. It is so pretty. I can't wear it, but you know, it's one of those that you would just love to get. It's like too wide and short, but uh. Okay, I'm trying some stuff on here in the dressing room. I'm debating about this. I'm not used to blowy tops like this, but it's a Knox Rose, which would have been from Target. And it's sheer, and I'm thinking maybe I could pull it off if I wore a white skirt or something. Um, it would kind of, you know, accommodate the belly for now. But I don't know. I'm still undecided. And here is that kimono that I was talking about. Now it looks a little funny because I've got the black here. But I kind of like it. Okay, it's already like lunchtime, 11.40, and I was in there entirely too long. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna go take a break for lunch. I'm gonna go to Panera and probably do some editing and then I might go down to the other one. The other one's a little bit further away, like 20 minutes maybe. Uh, so I'll see what, what I get done, but I am feeling like Panera. So I'm gonna go there and then I'll catch up with you later. I am seeing that there is a Hobby Lobby here and I have not been Hobby Lobby for several months, honestly. Uh, I don't know if I have time to go there, but it would be really fun to stop in. I'm not really buying stuff like that, but I don't know. The one in Sarasota is a little bit out of the area, so I never like go down there just for that, really. 
plus I haven't been going there very much anyway as far as buying home stuff, but oh boy, I might have to do that. Okay, I got a Frontega chicken. That's usually what I get most of the time. I've tried other stuff too, but. And then this is a summer corn chowder. And I also got a cookie. Looks really good. I'm in Hobby Lobby. You guys, they have a lot of 75% off home decor stuff here. And I'm filming this the day before you're watching it, I believe. So, there's like a lot of stuff for really, really cheap. I'm serious. So, if you have a Hobby Lobby and you're looking for stuff, oh, there, there's this one. I absolutely love this print. How much is it? $12.49. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I have to have a good place to put it. So I'm done at Hobby Lobby and I actually went to the second Goodwill. So I'm gonna go in there yet and see what I can find. I need to hurry though because I, yeah, need to get back to the boys and stuff. But I can't wait to show you what I got at Hobby Lobby. Even if I don't use it myself, I mean, I think I might. But even if I don't, I'm sure I can probably get rid of it. It was just too good to pass up. So anyway, I will show you in a little while. I think I'm gonna get this top. I know I won't be able to wear it for very long, but it's nice for later. It's like really dressy lace, but I was actually picturing it with my uh, new kimono that I got because it had coral in it and I don't have a coral top, so. All right, I'm home, got the boys, and they have a couple of stuff they wanna show you guys. Jackson wants to wear these, <laughs> but I got him some shorts. I think they'll fit you, Jackson, they might even fit Caden, but they were a little bit expensive because they were in their boutique section, but they always need basketball shorts, so. Hey, All right. four. Four, okay. Okay, Caden, what do you got there? I got some Crocs with these. Well, They're... can I wear them right now? Yeah, you can wear them right now. These are actual real Crocs, guys. And they look pretty new. Um, and they were $2.99. $2 pretty cool. And the next thing I wanna show you is the stuff from Hobby Lobby. Now, I don't think I'm gonna leave this picture here, but it could probably work if I'd want it to. Um, if I get tired of something else, I could move it here. But there is the cactus print that I was talking about. Uh, not exactly a print, I guess, but it's, yeah, in a frame. And this thing was $13.74. Like, that is crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I can get the real scale of it, but like you can see, it's pretty decent sized. Um, I'm thinking of trying it out above my desk, possibly, or it could be a nursery picture, maybe, depending if it be a girl. Uh, I just think there'd be some options with it so I couldn't pass it up. And the other one is this print. It, I'm not sure if there was glass in here or not. I'm kind of thinking there might have been, but I'm not positive. And this one was $4.49. Like That is incredible. Uh, it was originally $18, so it wasn't very expensive to begin with, but this I could put anywhere, honestly. So I'm pretty excited about that too. I got quite a few things today, and also I've been collecting stuff over the past, I don't know, probably two months or something, which I haven't been able to find a whole lot, but I am gonna go ahead and show you guys some things. Okay, so the first thing is these two little baskets. I got them today. Um, I just think they'll look nice somewhere, kind of, you know, layered in with some other pieces, and I think it was 99 cents. They stack into each other. So I didn't find a whole lot of decor items, honestly. I found some things here and there, but that was, I think this was the only thing that I found today. Uh, a little while ago, probably a couple months, I picked up this one at Goodwill and I have not yet hung it up, but I'm actually kind of thinking I might use it here in my nursery. Actually, this room's gonna turn into a nursery eventually, but this one was $2, I think and they're very versatile. You could do a lot of stuff with it. Okay, let me start here in the basket. You saw the clothes that the boys had, or I guess the shorts and Caden's Crocs. Um, then this was one from today, just a striped shirt. I think it is uh, Joe Fresh, so I'm not sure where that comes from, but it was uh, 99 cents. 
and this kimono is just B brand. I'm trying to think, is that Walmart? I'm kind of thinking it is. So I did end up getting it. It kind of comes up in the back and I'll put it on in case that you didn't see it today. It doesn't look very good with this shirt, but I think it'll be good. I have a coral shirt that I found today that I think will look nice with it. Plus it has kind of turquoise, some white, um, just some different, like there's a little bit of peach in there. So I just, this is like my first kimono, so I'm pretty excited about it. And this one, one thing about Goodwill, I feel like their prices and clothing are too pricey. But, okay, this was $4.99. That's usually a very common price in Goodwill. All right, so the next one is this shirt it ties in the front it's a little too big yet but i think i'll be able to use it as a maternity shirt uh, this is a department 222 brand so i don't know where that one is from but sleeves have a little bit of a uh, ruffle on it and it's just kind of that heathered look to it well i guess i got a bunch of pink stuff but i don't really have a lot of pink i don't think so here's the coral one i had shown you think in the Goodwill you can see it there as I'm wearing it um, but this one is from Walmart originally faded glory and this one was $3.99 so this Goodwill was at a different like it was a different county so I think their prices were slightly different and then I got this rose colored striped one as well I am just in need of t-shirts so I hope this will kind of help me a little bit more. I feel like you guys see me in this shirt like forever. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see. I got a couple books over the like two different times. Oh, I used to read, or my mom used to read as the Laura Mary Ingalls books, like Little House in the Prairie series. I She read them at least once through pretty much to each one of us girls. And then I read them probably a couple times. So I love these books and I don't actually have a set myself. I think my mom has a set, but these don't all match. Um, but I just found these. So, and I was actually able to find one of the small ones. I wonder if it's in here. Yeah, this one, School Days. And actually I read it pretty much all of it to Caden and Jack's heard some of it too. So that's actually pretty impressive that he lasted through one of these. <laughs> and then today I just got the Madeline book and there's another couple books that I had found another time. And also I found a boxcar children book. I used to read these all the time too when I was younger, so. Okay, I found two things at clothes mentor here a while back and I've been using it. It is this crossbody purse. Um, let's see what brand it is. I forget. Oh, Stone and Company, Stone and Co. So I just like it. It's very uh, friendly as far as for moms. And then I was really pleased to find these shoes from clothes mentor as well. These are universal threads, so they would have been at Target at some point, but they're like leather and they're pretty comfortable and they didn't look very worn at all. Like the fuzzy stuff is still on it. So I think those two items I paid around $20. If you're not familiar with Clothes Mentor, it is like a consignment store. So the prices are a little bit more. Okay, at Goodwill, I found this vase. I'm gonna do my best to see if I can show you. There we go. And I declare, you guys, that this was at Target at one point. It looks very, very much like the ones they had at Target. So let me know if you think that as well. But this one was $10 for $9.99, which is a little bit pricey, but I am using it on my table and it's a piece that I'm gonna be able to use throughout my home. And that's something I really love doing is if I can you know, use things in different places, not just in one specific area. So I do make exceptions for that. And the other day I found this little copper mixing bowl. See if you can do justice. I really needed this size 
This is actually Williams and Sonoma brand, and I forget, $2.99 for this one. Uh, it's definitely not new, but I've been using it, and I already have some copper bowls, so this one fits nicely into those, albeit it's a little better made than the ones I have. All right, and then this is a really fun find for me. It's this basket, I've been using it in the boys' room, but you know, it'll move around, I'm sure. This one was $6.99, and I just love this texture of it. And it's really sturdy, and it's decent size. At Goodwill the other day, I actually managed to find two of these Hot Wheels car carrier trucks. Like you can fill it with Hot Wheels on both sides. One of them, I found one of them and it was full of cars and it was like $10, which is, mm, you know, a little expensive, but it had all the Hot Wheels cars in them. Then a little bit further down the line, I found another one, an empty one. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Two trucks in the Goodwill, exactly the same. I mean, if you have uh, little boys or little girls, very similar in age, you will know that if you don't have two of the same thing, it can get pretty uh, intense. Let's just put it that way. So two is always better than one. <laughs> uh, so I was happy about that. My battery is about to die, so I'm going to see how fast I can do this. Now I did find, um, so, or I did buy some clothes on a thread up, and these are maternity clothes mostly. So I found this skirt here. Thread Up is the online consignment store, world's largest one, and I've gotten clothes from them before, so I was trying to find some maternity clothing. If you're looking for stuff, they have a good selection. So this is an H&M, just a basic black one. It's not gonna show up very well. This one, oh, this is from Goodwill, but I kinda liked this one. It's just like a really fine um, rose, some kinda like calico type of print and it's pretty loose but the sleeves are tied I don't know if you can see that and i just think it will work because it's pretty wide fitting and i could probably like i don't know tuck it or something i'm not sure yet this is free kisses so i don't know where that brand is from and then i found this shirt also maternity from thread up this one was a pea in the pod And this is a maxi dress. It has the elastic here in the waist. I would obviously wear it with a sweater. And it's really long. It's just a nice kind of wine raspberry color. And this is from, this is a Morona brand. Pretty sure it was maternity. Although I don't know, maybe not, come to think of it. Um, but it'll work for maternity, I think. And that was thread up and then the last thing from thread up is this rose colored top i think it'll be a while before i fit into this one it is a small but i just thought this one was really pretty so that is what i got from there okay you guys that's it i'm gonna quickly end the video before the battery dies but i really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe. My name is Lynette, by the way. We are expecting a little one in January of 2020, so we're excited about that. So feel free to join us on the journey. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!